What is up? My name is Jer from Jerry Gaming, and today we're going to be building Gas Station Part 2. In Part 1, we did the framework of the gas station, as you guys can see right here, where the pumps are, and then the outline of the infrastructure of the uh, pulling in and pulling out of the gas station. So what we're going to do over here is, on the left-hand side, so this is the front over here, so this is going to be the back. On this one right here, on the left-hand side, just fly right through it. Make sure you guys get the middle. So this is the middle for me right here. I'm just flying through. And then I'm going to go two blocks back. And on the third block, I'm going to place a block just for a marker. Then I'm going to break and place a glass pane. I'm going to skip one block, place a glass pane. Skip one block, place a glass pane. And then bring it out like so. I'm then going to place red stained clay on both sides of the glass pane. And then if you guys are right, the um, red stained clay. Uh, clay should line up right here on this corner and then this one over here should do this exact same thing so I'm just gonna run up here and yep it lines up so that's how it should be we are then gonna go ahead and make this two blocks thick like so we're gonna bring this up by two blocks as well then what we're gonna go ahead and do is place one block oops, of brick then two three four five we're going to place yellow stained clay on both sides so it should look like this. And then we're going to make a corner piece for the uh, yellow stained clay. So we're going to add two more blocks of uh, brick and then two more blocks of the yellow stained clay. We're going to do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we can just do six over here. So it's six and then place three and then one leaving a three block gap. You're going to place glass panes here, six of them three blocks long by two blocks high. There we are. And then we're gonna go ahead and have this up to three blocks like this. And there we are. So now that's up to four blocks. I'm just gonna outline this here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on top right there. I'm then gonna take the red stained clay and bring it up to the height of the building that we have so far right here. And then I'm going to go one, two, to a total of three blocks high, bringing this one up with the glass panes. And then I'm going to get my red stained clay, and I'm just going to go ahead and place it in like this. And then another one over here. I'm going to go ahead and go two, three. Oops. Hold on. Two, three. Then I'm going to fill in this back here to three blocks high. Let's go one more, four, and then on the fourth one, we're gonna go like this. So it should look something like that. Then we're gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one in the middle right there. Now, <clears throat> you guys could build like a little logo here for the look of the gas station, the building itself, to set a brand name. But I just did this to make mine very plain and basic, so that way you guys could do it if you guys would like to without very many problems at all because it's basically just changing it the yellow could be a t for thomas's gas station or you know anything really like you guys can make any symbol you guys want inside there where the yellow is or you guys could just put a banner with uh, a few letters or a banner here here and here that spells gas you know what i mean uh something super simple like that but i'm just leaving mine very basic I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks long on the side. And then I'm just going to go over and connect it over here. Oops, not long enough. There we are. And then I'm going to take my yellow stained clay. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this all the way up to the very top. There we are. And I did not do windows on the backs and side, mainly because gas stations don't have that. Um, they have like refrigeration units on the wall, so there's no point in glass. Uh, but I'm not doing the interior of this build, mainly because I don't have time to do it. 
and if I did do it, I would have to do a part three, just because I can't edit anything longer than 40 minutes uh, without having problems, and uh, I really wouldn't know what you guys would want. Like, like I said, you guys could do really easy stuff, just build a little cash register with some shelving in the store, and that's it, with some minor frames and some uh, food on the shelves, you know what I mean? Something really simple like that would just get the point across uh, as a gas station and a decorative standpoint as well. Okay, so I'm just placing quartz on the roof like so, making this very easy for myself. Uh, and then, right here, okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna go on the inside now to place uh, glowstone. You guys can do anything you guys would like. Uh, I'm gonna place glowstone right here and here. Right in front of that window, right in the middle, right there and there. And then one right here, hold on trying to get it lined up with these there and there so that's really simple to do right there uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is now place quartz on top right here and right over here then we're gonna place cauldrons here and here there and there and then we're gonna place two blocks of jungle leaves on top and we're gonna use a red tool up down below right in the middle so again two blocks of the jungle leaves above the cauldron and then one block of the uh, red tulips just planted right there and that's going to add a little bit of decoration for us. What we're going to go ahead and do is break all of this right here. Just two blocks in so be real careful don't go any further. Oops. Uh, and over here. I'm going to have it connected right there. And I'm going to bring this all the way down to right here, and I'm going to have it connected to the wall again. And this is going to act as our sidewalk to get into the building. You know, like all gas stations have a little sidewalk to get in uh, to make sure that cars don't hit you because, you know, drivers are bad. <laughs> uh, then we're going to go ahead and get spruce wood planks. We're going to rip out the grass right here and just replace it with spruce wood. You guys can go ahead and do whatever you guys would like to to the interior. Uh, I'm just doing spruce wood for mine, for my flooring, just because I think it makes a nice contrast of colors with the build that we have. But other than that, I don't have any other reasoning other than I just like it. So if you guys have a different block that you guys would like to use, you guys are more than welcome to change anything. The colors of the building that we just did, uh, it's just something small to get the point across. It's a convenient store. Uh, convenience store. It does not need to be very big. Um, at all. Honestly, like I said, there's not a lot you could do with Minecraft, so just put a little bit of shelving in there with some food on the shelves and a little checkout stand, but mainly it's just dedicated to be gas. So that's what the pumps are outside. Uh, so if you guys wanted something bigger, then a supermarket would be something better. But again, supermarkets don't have gas station pumps, so I will be building a supermarket in the future for you guys. Just keep an eye out for that on my channel. three blocks there we go and that's looking nice I'm gonna go ahead and take out all this here and I need to get cobble we're gonna get cobblestone wall pieces and I'm gonna use the quartz stat, uh, slabs so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and then mark out so right on this corner over here we're gonna go one two, three, four, five. And I'm going to place five blocks. I'm going to go ahead and skip three and then do it again. Skip three. And I'm going to come down here on this end and do the same thing because I want to make sure it lines up. That's, uh, I think that's five. Two, three. Um, okay, so we're having a problem where it doesn't line up right here. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea how we can get it to, uh, it won't line up, but we can have it so it's like this. 
Um, and then this little spot in the middle is for like motorcycle parking, you know what I mean? Then we'll have a little cobblestone block or cobblestone piece right there. And that's so that way cars don't drive right up into the uh, gas station, you know what I mean? Those are roadblocks to protect the civilians that are inside. So that way there aren't crazy drivers that just, you know, plow right through the store and drive into it. But if you guys are one of the bunny people and you guys would like to have a car parked halfway through it, you guys are more than welcome to do that, and I think it'd be pretty funny. Um, so if you guys don't have that right there for the parking and the convenience store, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And if you guys don't, please pause the video here and resume when you guys are ready. Okay guys, we are back, and what we're going to go ahead and do is, I got five blocks in my inventory, bricks, red stained clay, yellow stained clay, quartz slab, and glass paints that we're going to be using to build the car wash. So what we're going to go ahead and do is right over here is where the car wash is going to be on the right hand side of the convenience store. That's why we have it all set from the center of the gas station, sorry about the OCD, um, people out there that are going to be bugged by that. But what we're going to go ahead and do is I want to have it kind of lined up with this here. Uh, so we're going to go to the middle of this pole right here and just walk it out straight. And I'm, again, go in by two, and then I'm going to go over. So just that's just a marker. We're not building there. It's just one, two, three, four. So leaving three, and then there we go. So now it's a little bit more off-centered. So there we go. It's about right there. So people could just pull off from the gas station and come right over here. Let's actually move it over by one block back that way. That way it's a little bit more lined up with this. So it's just one block off. And if I walk this down just for a little bit more convenience where you guys can see, see how it's just like one block off, walk out, then there we go. And if you guys want more, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks away from the convenience store. We're gonna go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, leaving a five block gap. Oh, that's a four block. A five block gap right here. There we go. I'm gonna go two blocks back on this. Place one brick there on both sides. And then I'm gonna bring the brick down. So it's gonna go like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's yeah, let's do eleven. And then we'll do two more red over here. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then on the inside, place two red. I'm gonna bring this up to three blocks high on the red. And on the yellow, we're just gonna bring that up to the height on these two corners. Oops. Like that. Then we'll skip, go one block, one block. And then just two blocks thick right here. So again, one, then one over, and then make it two blocks thick. And then we'll place glass. That way people can see your car being clean uh, on the outside, like pedestrians walking by. Also, uh, real ones also have this. I think it has to do with uh, marketing a little bit as well. That way that's just not an ugly building. Uh, for in the real world why they have glass. I think people might get a little bit, uh, there has to be like some scientific reason for marketing or something that they have glass. Maybe it just looks nicer, people know what it is because they can drive by and see and they're like, oh, that's a car wash. You know, I don't really know, but I know that a lot of them in the real world do have glass so you can watch, but it has to have some other reason than just being able to watch. But, I mean, I could be wrong. could just be for watching. But, um... Then what we're going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to go ahead and bring that up again. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five blocks. And then I'm going to bring it in by one, in by one, then up by one. And then I'm just going to connect it over like this. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side over here. So bring it up by one, over, up by one, and then do it again over here. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, how tall is this? I'm gonna build it one more block high on the yellow, just to be safe. And actually, let's go one more set higher on the red. So how we're gonna do this is just 
basically outline this like how we have it and then break here and here and then break these three in the middle so it should look like that okay so I just want to make it one block higher so that way I can make sure that if you guys build cars in here it'll fit you know what I mean so I'm kind of looking out for you guys here trying to help you guys out I don't want to make it too small because then the car won't fit but I'm trying to make sure that it's going to fit by uh, allowing enough room but then I'm going to take white quartz and we're going to do the same thing we did on the convenience store roof and just have it with half slabs going down by one layer and that should leave enough room for a small compact car now you guys aren't going to be able to build like put a semi truck through here but you guys can't put a semi truck through the real one in the real world so I mean it kind of goes through you know it kind of works out that way so there we go and then I'm just gonna fill in red stained clay on both sides over here there we go so it should look like this and then I'm just gonna place a red stain block in both corners over here just to add a little bit more detail and we're gonna have a little uh, post right here it's gonna be red on top white I meant red on bottom white on top we are going to need a sign And this is where the detail comes in. It's gonna say, uh, let's do $20 car wash on the first line. Uh, let's do type select on the third, uh, second line. We're gonna, on the third line, we're gonna type deluxe. Okay, I think I spelled that wrong. Hold on. Gotta use Google. Yeah, I did spell that wrong. Oh, well, I kind of got it right. So, deluxe. And then, standard. There we go. So, that's what it should look like. Uh, you guys can type really anything. It just adds a little bit more. We're gonna use a stone button as well. So where's the uh, stone button? Okay, so I guess it's just a button. Yeah, it is. Okay, and then the button is kind of like where you would insert your credit card or, and stuff like that. And then you would drive through here. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna need to take all this out over here and have it so we can get this all in. Now I'm going to build the works of it as well on the inside, so don't worry. Okay. Okay, so now that that is all done, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm marking out these two right here, like a channel. And it starts right where the red is, so as you guys can see it right here, it starts and it ends right before it hits the red as well. So see that? And then we're going to go ahead and place uh, quartz slabs. And this is like the little metal strip that you would be running over. I mean you guys could use iron if you guys would like to because then it looks a little bit more like the thing in real life. Um, then I'm going to delete this over here. Oops, I might have deleted, well I did delete one too much got to be careful about deleting too much over here because we want it to look good and then I need stairs and we're gonna go ahead and use stone brick stairs for this and oops hold on we're gonna have it like this on the sides and this is where the water what roll ugh, the water will run off into and get collected by the gutters so that is that right there I need a fence posts let's get spruce I need wool, let's use white so it's clean looking. Um, we're going to have it coming down from the ceiling here, just uh, two blocks off of here, two blocks off here, and here, and right over there. We're going to have little white poles coming down like so, that will scrub the car down. There we go. and. We're gonna also have another pole in the middle here and a pole in the middle here. I'm gonna get a coal, block of coal, 
and a lever. So I'm going to place the block pole right here, and these are the soap dispensers. And the reason for the lever is have them facing downwards and they'll like spray the car, you know what I mean? So there we go, and that's how that one is done. So that now the, uh, what's it called, car wash is all done, and let's see if I can make this something. Nah, I can't. Okay, I was still trying to like add a little bit more detail. But there's the car wash right there. Um, you guys can uh, add more, but this is all that we're going to do right here. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is... I'm going to need a sign, because we're going to be doing a little bit more detail work on this, so don't leave yet. We're going to need a lever, and we're going to need a button. I'm going to go ahead and come over here, and I don't know if I showed this in the last video, so I'll just show it again just in case. So right here in this middle pump right here, we're just going to line up with the wall and walk out. And then you're going to place two blocks of red stained clay. We're going to place a button down below and a little lever facing down over here and then a sign that says free air. So what this is is the lever is the little hose that will connect to the tires that will fill up the tires full of air and the button is to start the air going, you know what I mean? So just adds a little bit more detail to your guys' builds just so that way you guys have something a little extra. I'm going to go ahead and grab locks of quartz as well. And over here on this corner, I'm going to place two blocks high of red. Then I'm going to place two blocks high. Actually, let's go three blocks high of quartz. And then another layer of red here and here. And let me go ahead and get slabs for the top. Okay, so I'm not very good at banners, but the point of this is right here is where you guys put a banner that says gas on both sides as advertising i don't know how to use banners i'm really bad at them so i can't help you with that but i place a slab right there i'm gonna break here and here we're gonna go ahead and get chiseled quartz and i'm gonna place chiseled quartz here and here for a little bit more decoration and then like i said that's just the gas pumps that symbolize that this is a gas station uh and that's it so that's what that is right there. We're gonna need jungle leaves and I'm gonna need spruce fence posts. Over here we're gonna go one, two, three, and then on the fourth one we're gonna place a pole. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then on the fourth one place a pole. How many is in the middle? So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So it is an uneven number, so we are in luck. So half of 23, so half of 20 is 10. Then, so 11, so that will equal 22 if we put 11 plus 11. So on the 12th block, we have to go over. So we're gonna start here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then on the 12th block, we're gonna place a pole. Just like that. We're gonna go over here and do the same exact thing. So one, two, three. And then on the fourth block, place a pole. One, two, three. On the fourth block, place a pole. Then on the 12th block, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 place a pole and then we're going to take each pole up to two blocks high okay and now we're going to go ahead and place three blocks of jungle leaves and then on the third block we're going to make this into a plus then we're gonna go ahead and place three more blocks on top, well, I should say two more blocks on top of that to make it look like this. Then on the third block up again, we're gonna make a square. We're gonna go one. And we're gonna place two more layers. So it should look like that. So it's now three layers thick. And then we're gonna go on the top of that, place a plus, place another plus, 
and then place one, two, and then three. So there you guys go, a nice little modern tree. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on all of them over here. I'll do it again. I'm only gonna do this side, and then you guys will have to do the other side on your own. That way the video doesn't get too long, and plus it's not like uh, you need me to show, hopefully I won't have to show you six times. Uh, and if you guys do have a problem with that it is hard to do, just remember you guys can always rewind the video while I'm building and watch me rebuild these trees. So if you guys get stuck doing it on the other side, you guys can just rewind and then watch me do it over again. And it's just easy. So I'm just going to knock these out. And they are all the same exact height. This one's almost done. And there we go. So now that that is all done on this side, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is in the middle here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So half of eleven is seven. Well, no, it's uh, it would be on the sixth block, I apologize. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. And then there should be both five on each side. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. And there we go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and get red tulips. And then I'm gonna place it in the middle of the tree and this little shrub. And there we go. So you guys are going to do the same exact thing on the other side of the build uh, over there. Right here we're not going to have uh, trees because we don't want it to obstruct the view of the building that we have uh, over here. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that. It's very easy guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you guys would like to, you guys can take the asphalt and wrap it around the entire building, and then that will cover it all. So let's just, uh, you guys can go ahead and do that if you guys would like to, that's just a little bit of ideas. But again guys, just place this over here on the same exact thing, just a little, it's just a mirrored image actually. So as always guys, thank you guys for liking this video. Hopefully you guys will subscribe to my YouTube channel for future builds uh, on the channel. And uh, make sure you guys leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this build as well. And if you guys did, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. And please check out more of my videos. And as always guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.